Hi guys, Marcus here, and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update, March twenty first, twenty twenty four. I release episodes every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday between seven and ten p.m. Pacific time. This is episode eight hundred and ten, and the rundown with timestamps is in the description box below. Now, because I use Chinese names quite a bit on my show, if you want the English spelling of them, you can turn on subtitles. I create them myself. In today's episode, in the name of the brother with Ching Hao and Yang Mi passes review. So does the double with Wu Jingyan and Wang Xingyue. Hold a court now with Simon Gong and Renming raps filming. And Chen Zhiyuan gives a paparazzo a stern look and tells him to give way after they bump into him while taking his picture. But first, here's what's recently premiered one drama for today and yesterday. War of Faith stars Wang Yipo, Li Qing, and Wang Yang. The Republican era drama premiered earlier today. According to IQE, Wang Yipo is a finance genius, but a low-level employee at a financial institute where he witnesses corruption. He is caught in the middle between Wang Yang, his mentor at the financial institute, and Wang Yang's sister, Li Qing, both of whom political beliefs differ. War of Faith is slated for 38 episodes and is available on IQE with English subs. That's it for what's recently premiered. Here's what's confirmed to premiere soon. There's Guess Who I Am, a modern drama starring Zhang Yixi and Wang Zixi. A few days ago, they confirmed a March 22nd premiere. They had passed review and gotten their online record number a month ago, and wrapped filming in February last year. According to Baidu, in Guess Who I Am, Zhang Yixi is Song Yao, a woman who can make any wealthy man fall in love with her as long as he looks at her. However, her electric eyes fail her when she comes across the prince of the Cheng Tian group. That is because he's actually the con artist Qing Hao, played by Wang Zixi. Guess Who I Am is slated for 24 episodes and will stream on Youku. Then there's Five Kings of Thieves, starring Darren Wang and Ren Ming. Yesterday, the fantasy Republican era drama announced the March 23rd premiere. The shows had quite a long ride in getting to air. It wrapped filming in December 2020, took 16 months to pass review, and didn't announce a premiere date until March 2023. And when the time came, they postponed the premiere last minute. Now they're having another go at it. Hopefully for them, whatever edits they had to make to get to air hasn't altered their vision too much. Anyway, according to Baidu, in the drama, Darren Wang plays an orphan who joins a campaign to protect national treasures. He meets Runming's character, a girl who chooses to accompany him on his journey, even at the disapproval of her family. Been a while since we've seen Darren Wang in a drama. His last appearance was a memorable one. He was the lead in 2020's The Wolf with Li Qing and Xiao Chan. Runming, on the other hand, has been in a bunch. Most recently, she had a supporting role in White Cat Legend. Five Kings of Thieves is slated for 12 episodes and will stream on Youku. I'll update again on where to watch these two dramas with English subs if available after they premiere. Before we get out of premiere dates, here are some rumored ones. Fly Me to the Moon is a female-centric modern drama starring Song Yi, Charmaine She, and Li Chun. It is rumored for a March 29th premiere. And Follow Your Heart, the costume drama starring Liu Luo and Song Yi, is rumored for a mid to late April premiere. So, two rumored drama premieres for Sung Yi. I will update if they announce anything official. And that's it for premiere dates. Moving on, here's what's recently passed review. In the Name of the Brother stars Qing Hao and Yang Mi. The Republican era drama passed review and got its distribution license for 40 episodes on March 19th. The cast and crew had filmed for five months and wrapped in September last year. Here's Qing Hao with director Zhang Li. And here's Yang Mi on wrap day. Yang Mi's dramas are progressing right along just now. Other than this one, Fox Spirit matchmaker Red Packed Moon also passed review last week. We can probably expect to see a healthy dose of the actress soon. In the Name of the Brother is set in the 1940s. According to Baidu, in it, Qing Hao is Sung Zhuo Wen, a communist agent who infiltrates Harbin's secret service. Yang Mi is Guan Xue, chief of Harbin's secret service. He has to win her trust as he tries to find out where his party's people are secretly detained. The drama will stream on Aichi. Also passing review recently was The Double. 
The costume drama starring Wu Jingyan and Wang Xingyue obtained an online record number yesterday, March 20th. They had wrapped filming in September last year. Here's Wu Jingyan with her wrapped bouquet standing in front of a carriage. And here's Wang Xingyue with his wrapped bouquet. It was a five-month film shoot which began in May. The project was Wu Jingyan's first time filming a drama in over two years. According to Baidu, the double tells the story of a love-hate relationship that spans three years. Wu Jingyan is a magistrate's daughter who loses everything after a huge change. But with Wang Xingyue's help, she turns things around and rescues her father from prison. The double is slated for 40 episodes and will stream on Youku. Lastly, for drama updates, Hold the Court Now recently wrapped filming. Hold the Court Now is an upcoming courtroom drama starring Simon Kung and Ren Ming. On March 18th, they announced that they had wrapped filming. Here's Simon Kung with his wrap bouquet. And here's Ren Ming with hers. Here is one of the entire cast and crew on wrap day. The drama had started filming in December last year and was an almost four month film shoot. In it, Simon is a young judge who is transferred to the family division of the basic court where he meets a young lawyer played by Ren Ming. The two of them tackle social issues such as marital dilemmas and parent-child conflicts. Hold the Court now is slated for 40 episodes and will stream on Tencent. And that's it for drama updates. Before we get to celebrity updates, just to say that this show wouldn't be possible without you guys tuning in. So I thank you all for your support. If you enjoy the content, do like and subscribe. And don't forget to click that bell button for notifications. If you'd like to contribute, consider giving this video a super thanks. It is the heart-shaped button with the dollar sign below this video. All funds support the show and keep it going. Or you can check out my Patreon page, where for a dollar or more a month, you'll have access to perks like recaps, requests, and have your questions answered. Celebrity updates now, and today we begin with Tsai Xiaowen, who made a bit of a blunder at a brand event recently. This was the scene two days ago in Quanzhou City, where Tsai Xiaowen attended an event for Ba Wang Cha Qi, a company that makes milk tea. Here he is posing with many of his fans on the day. The 24-year-old singer-actor, who is a brand spokesperson, got on stage to make some tea and say a few words, and it was then that he made his blunder. He said, Everyone, please show your support to Cha Yan Yue Se, which is Modern China Tea Shop. Right then, he got a small nudge from the host, and the audience let out a laugh because Modern China Tea Shop is a rival tea company. Zai Xiaowen immediately corrected himself, Ba Wang Cha Qi, please support Ba Wang Cha Qi. The host joked that he would punish Jai Xiaowen to drink Ba Wang Cha Qi. Jai Xiaowen hasn't had a drama air since 2021, but he does have a supporting role in the upcoming second chapter of the Fox Spirit Matchmaker series, Love in Pavilion. Also at a brand event recently was Ellen Ren. A couple of days ago, Ellen was in a shopping center in Chengdu for a Roger Vivier event. The French brand makes luxury shoes, bags, and accessories. The 34-year-old actor wore a white suit with pinstripes and won the praise of fans and many in the media who called him prince-like. The shopping center was packed on several floors with screaming fans. Here he is waving to them. He's more relaxed here, having a cocktail and schmoozing. And here he is with some con candy. Ellen stars in the currently streaming Xianxia drama Burning Flames with Fair Singh. Next up for celebrity updates, Chen Zheyuan was filmed being stern with a paparazzi photographer. The incident led to the hashtags Chen Zheyuan points at paparazzi with a cold face, and Chen Zheyuan scolds paparazzi, tells them to give way to become topics of discussion on Weibo yesterday. According to Sena Entertainment, the 27-year-old actor was leaving a hotel after filming a variety show when he was accosted by a crowd of fans and paparazzi who made it difficult for him to move forward. Here he stands back and points at some of those in the crowd, telling them to give way. From this angle, you can see one of his staff members resorting to being a bit physical with some of the photographers while Chen Zheyuan makes his way to his van. In this clip, he is clearly pointing at one of the photographers and telling them to give way. 
In yet another clip, taken earlier when he was still inside the hotel, you can see he is bumped into the door by one of the photographers, and he is none too happy about it. It's probably the same one he points at later on by the van. Chen Zheyuan stars with Chu Qingyi in Sword and Fairy 4, which aired not that long ago. He also recently wrapped filming The White Olive Tree with Liang Jie. This next one might seem a bit weird, but I assure you it's not the first time something like this has happened. According to reports on Weibo, a short drama, it wasn't revealed which, thought it was okay to use Li Qing's ID photo in one of their shots. Here is a screenshot of that shot. It looks like Li Qing's image was used to portray someone who had died. This was, of course, spotted by viewers, and when it got around to the 33-year-old actress, her studio responded with a lawyer's statement. They said that this short drama production had never obtained any permission to use Li Qing's image. They also revealed that they had communicated with the production and requested them to delete the content. If production refuses to, they will take further legal action. They also thanked netizens for bringing the image to their attention. As I mentioned earlier in this video, Li Qing stars in the just premiered War of Faith with Wang Yibo. Lastly now for celebrity updates, Tian Jiarui told some fans he can't sign autographs for them and explained why. The last update I did about Tian Jiarui, he was accosted by some photographers at the airport. They taunted him and gave him a really hard time. This new video that surfaced on March 14th showed a much more peaceful interaction. Speaking to a couple of girls who seemed like genuine fans, the 25-year-old actor urged them to not sell his autographs online, to which they said they wouldn't. Tian Jiarui explained, We found many people selling my autographs online, so I can't sign any more right now. Please watch out for this, and please don't sell my autographs. The girls were gracious in accepting the refusal. They bid him goodbye as he walked away, and even reminded him to rest up. Tian Jiarui wrapped filming Fangs of Fortune not that long ago. He is currently filming another costume drama called Jie Jia, or Removing Armor. On that note, it's Thursday today, so time for another segment of my predictions for this Sunday's Top 10 Champions. As you guys know, every Sunday we do the Top 10 Chinese Web and TV Dramas of the Week. In this segment, I give some of my thoughts and predictions as to who the champions will be. To recap, last week's top web drama was Everyone Loves Me starring Ling Yi and Zhou Ye. And the top TV drama was Angels Fall Sometimes with Landy Li and Ling Yi. Lots of good dramas premiering in this last week or so. I think we'll see new champions and also quite a bit of shuffling going on this week. I'm backing In Blossom, the costume drama starring Zhu Jingyi and Liu Xueyi to be the new web drama champion. And I'm backing Simple Days, the modern drama starring Chen Xiao and Tong Yao, to be the new TV drama champion. Although The Legend of Shen Li has dominated the daily TV charts since it premiered, it premiered on Monday, which means it is one day short of points, so I don't think it'll be top this week. So that's In Blossom and Simple Days to be champions this week. What do you guys think? And that's been another segment of my predictions for this Sunday's Top 10 Champions. It also brings us to the end of this episode. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you guys Sunday. As always, stay safe, and I wish you clear blue skies, good health, and happiness. Until next time, cheers.